In this anatomic cutout, the stomach and small bowel are seen in their normal anatomic position, behind the liver and colon. A gastroscope is inserted into the stomach and through the pylorus. A guide wire is then placed down the working channel of the gastroscope and directed into the duodenal bulb, after which the gastroscope is removed. The delivery capsule is then threaded over the guide wire into position within the duodenal bulb transversing the pylorus. The guide wire is removed and the gastroscope is reinserted to confirm appropriate position of the delivery capsule. Utilizing continuous dynamic fluoroscopy, the liner and atraumatic ball are advanced two feet into the proximal small bowel with the aid of the coaxial catheter delivery system. The atraumatic ball is released within the lumen of the small bowel and allowed to pass on its own. Finally, the nitinol anchor is deployed and is seen here self-expanding in proper position within the duodenal bulb. The liner is flushed with dilute contrast to ensure patency. The gastroscope and delivery device are then removed and placement is complete.